I know you're on the hunt for a female collab, right? Yeah. Wow, well, you know a lot about me. I'm very impressed. Oh, th thank you. Why, why don't you just have Big Sean play matchmaker and, and do the Janae collab? Uh, I would love that. I, I don't know what I'd do if, if suddenly she was... She has a voice, voice of an angel. What's going on? It's Mike Adam. I have Ellie Golding with us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, a lot to celebrate. This song is phenomenal. Easy Lover, Big Sean. Uh, were you like, I'm not going to release this song until Big Sean and Janae are ready to make their pregnancy announcement? You held on to it a while. That's exactly what I was waiting for. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's, it, it's, bit, it's been a long time coming. Like We've wanted to work together for a while. And finally, I sent him this song and I was kind of like, oh, he's, gonna, he's not going to like it. And he loved it. And so I was like, oh, OK. Um, and um, yeah, and then he did the he did the verse and it was perfect. And um, I didn't know what to expect, actually. I was like, but he completely got the song and just like just did it. And so I was I was um, very happy with that. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for them. She's amazing. I've always loved, loved her. So yeah, yeah. it's a very beautiful, lovely couple. Is this the longest you've held on to a song that you actually ended up releasing? Yes, 100 percent. I don't think there's been any other songs yeah, I think every other song has been kind of, I've decided that I want it to be a single. Um, but I think, yeah, uh, I've had it for, for ages, uh, but it's stood the test of time, I think. That's so crazy. Was it a couple of years? Because it's so on point for right now. It's so trendy and like, you know, it's perfect. I think that maybe a combination of, you know, I have a good team around me. I have good, get good advice. And um, I think uh, everyone figured that it was the sound of now, um, yeah. kind of. and. Um, so it kind of made sense, but maybe at the time I I written it, maybe it wasn't the sound of them. Um, right, right. I don't know. I feel like there was like a trap phase or something going on at the time. Um, so yeah, it seemed like right for now. Yeah. yeah. So the music video is great. Uh, dance moves impeccable. Um, uh, a lot of people are saying they're getting Stranger Things vibes from it. I'm sure you heard that. I've heard that. Yeah. Uh, so I did some digging though, and it gets creepy. Um, your middle name is Jane, right? Yes. So that's. Are you a fan of the show? Um, I'm, I'm a fan. I, look, I haven't watched the second series. Um, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to school you right now. 11, Millie Bobby Brown. Yes. Her character on the show, her real name is Jane. Okay. Now yes. you went to Lady Hawkins High. Yes. The, the town that the show takes place in is Hawkins. Oh. They go to Hawkins Middle School in okay. Hawkins High. That is weird. Huh. Your breakout song is Lights. Yes. And the common theme throughout the show is lights. Like that's how they communicate so maybe from I'm the upside. I don't know. More they connected with the you, show yeah, more than I realize. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> well, then I definitely need to watch it because that is quite spooky. Yeah, you're right. It's, wow. It's really amazing. Anyway, uh, getting back to Big Sean, uh, ha have you guys bonded over parenthood? Have you given him any tips? I uh, yeah I, I think I just remember being like it's crazy it's, I, I like I don't remember saying much I, mean, I think I just wasn't that helpful I just kept saying like it's really it's so crazy you know and not, nothing else um but um you can just tell he's gonna be an amazing dad he's yeah, yeah. so lovely and so sweet and so cool as well annoyingly cool his next album is gonna be so good I, I'm lucky enough to have heard it and um yeah um God, he's gonna be tired I told him he's going to be very tired, yeah, but yeah, it's just yeah. standard. Yeah. Is there anything, is there one thing that sticks out to you that you wish somebody had told you a little hack? Um, I think on a serious note, I wish someone had told me to, that, that just to, to not be a perfectionist with it and to, and to be really easy on myself. It's such a humbling experience. Um, also, you know, a really incredible one. It's like you, you really realize how strong you are. Um, but I would just like agonize over the smallest things. Like if the milk was like a bit too hot or like I hadn't changed the nappy in time or like, you know, little things. And, and now I'm like, now that he's at an age where, you know, give him any old thing, eat like food, milk, clothes, whatever, it doesn't matter. But at the time when they're little, you just think you're going to break them and think, you, you know, that something's going to happen to them. But they're actually so resilient. I wish someone had just said, look, look, chill. It's fine. Like if you, you know. The milk's like a bit cold once. It really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it, but like, yeah. Um, like not to beat yourself up if something does go wrong. Not be a perfectionist, right, basically. Right, right. Yeah. I was I was terrified to uh, 
clip my son's nails at first. Like my mom did it for the longest time. I just I bit like, them off. I just like bit them yes, off. Yes, that's what they yeah. tell you to do. Yeah. It's like really weird if you're not a parent. You're like, Because oh, otherwise they doing? scratch themselves and they've just got scratched it over the face. And it's not very nice. Yeah, yeah. But they heal like that. God, baby skin is amazing. Totally, totally. Have you gotten a, a like parent shamed or anything? It happens to me constantly like at the playground. Uh, the parents, other parents are so judgy and brutal. Yeah. Um, I, I definitely had scenarios where, for example, I the biggest thing for me and it might not be for everyone but I found it to be a godsend was um, learning how to like swaddle and just tighten that baby up in a teeny tiny swaddle because that's what they used to they come out of a teeny tiny space and then suddenly they're flailing around and they're not used to it so the swaddling was like a big thing but then a couple of people were like oh you really shouldn't swaddle like really ruins their does something to their something and and I'm like whatever he's fine He's yeah. more than fine. He's running around like like a 10-year-old. So, like, it's fine. But, yeah, I, I've definitely had that thing where, um, you know, uh, everyone's got an opinion. And I think I think, I think think that's fine. I think it's just, like, each their own, you know? Right. I think just each their own. Right. Can you tell if he's an Ellie Goulding fan yet? Do, do you play his music? Does he do anything? Does he have I can't really song? tell because okay. when I sing to him, I can't tell whether he's, like, laughing at me. Or like he's happy. Okay. He's he's kind of got this kind of like, <laughs> that's funny kind of face. Yeah. I don't know whether he's like, what are you doing? Or he's like, that's cool. Yeah. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But I'm hoping that he is a fan. Does your does your spouse sing to him? Because I just I wouldn't like I I if I was married to a professional singer, I'd be like, listen, kid, I'll read you books, but we know who the singer yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't sing. Yeah. He can kind of hold a tune, kind of, like not. Yeah, it's not really his strength. Um, it's um, it, but he's he has many strengths, but singing is not me- maybe. One no, you of said them. that in the nicest way possible, for sure. Um, let's talk collaborations. I know you're on the hunt for a female collab, right? Yeah. Well, what? you know a lot about me. I'm very impressed. Oh, th- thank you. Why Why don't you just have Big Sean play matchmaker and and do the Janae collab? Uh, I would love that. I I don't know what I'd do if if suddenly she was she has a voice voice of an angel Beautiful. i don't know what i'd do if i ended up if i sent a song to her or we went in the studio together i think i would just like like collapse because she's really does have one one of the most beautiful voices in the world so um that's actually a very good call all right i, f- I feel like that's an easy one but i'm sure you have like a wish list are are there a few other ladies that you would love to work with i love the singer thames okay um she was recently obviously sampled by future and drake um and she, I saw her live recently. She's amazing. Uh, I love Snow Allegra. Um, and I've always loved, like, Bjork, obviously, like, yeah. my hero. Uh, I've always loved Christian Queen. So, I don't know. But everyone says I should do something with Doja Cat. I don't know why. It just seems to be sort of like a general consensus that, like, Ooh, we should do that something That would be together. a good fit. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Or, or even I, I could hear you with Lizzo. I think that'd be cool. Too. Yes, I love Lizzo. Who doesn't? Of course. My God, I'm I'm very open. Whoever wants to do a song with me, just <laughs> let me know. <laughs> this isn't a female collab, but uh, do you have a relationship with Elton John? Um, yeah, I, I mean, actually, one of the most proud, one of the proudest moments of my life was was uh, maybe a couple of months ago. I was in Miami and, and and I went to watch him play, and he gave me a shout out, and That's so I was cool. like. <gasps> Yeah, I I got emotional because um I've always loved Elton and, and you know he he I did a cover of his obviously um and uh, I just didn't think he was going to give me a shout out yeah um, yeah so it took me by surprise and I was like really really stunned well you did that cover and it was wonderful a, a while ago and I thought when he did the collaboration I, I was like this is this is our moment it's going to be Elton Elton who did the who who ended up doing the version of that album Lady Gaga who are you going to choose I would choose <laughs> Lady Gaga there's no way that I choose me over Lady Gaga look I it's not that I like don't think I'm good I just think she's amazing yeah, I would choose yeah. her yeah. So yeah, it's fine. It's forgiven. Well, that's that's sweet of you. Before we wrap, um, a couple quick questions. Uh, do you have a family Halloween costume outfit like thing lined up? Do you do that? Do you participate in that? Actually, last year, um, we had pumpkins, and and Arthur had like a meltdown. Uh, I guess he doesn't oh. like um pumpkins. Okay. Um, we've discovered. Um, be interesting to see how he reacts this year though. Um, no, I don't, I don't, I think we're away, which is, I don't know. Uh, who oh, knows? Wow. We don't know. Who knows? But, um, I like to dress up a little bit. Okay. I can't remember what I did last year. I can't remember what I did the year before. Mm. So the rest of the family, you're like, fend for yourselves. I'm dressing up, but it's usually like a last minute thing. I'll okay, find okay. something like a okay. wig or something. 
Cool. And lastly, uh, off the upcoming album, I know you've made like not a lot of announcements about it, but do you have a favorite song already? On the album? Yes. Yes. And will you tell me all about it? Um, I Well, the next song that's coming out after Easy Lover, I don't know whether it's one of those songs that is like a radio song or a popular song. I don't know. It's one of those things where I'm just so happy to release it. Uh, there's been a couple of songs in my career that I've released that is for me. Mm-hmm. And I, and my label have just kind of gone, all right, fine, you can release this one. Um, so I don't know. But that is my favorite one. And we've shot the video already. It looks so good. Um, it's very like Daft Punk weekend inspired. Cool. Apparently, that's what it sounds like. Um, and then obviously me singing. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Um, Can't so wait yeah. to see it. Good. Ellie Golden, congratulations on everything. Thank you.